Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome students to the online NPTEL course Visual Communication Design for Digital Media. In the previous lecture, we started discussing about the contemporary movements in the visual design. So, uh, in the last lecture, we started with the uh, post industrial revolution from the contemporary part. We are not going into the history part of it, history part was just uh, uh, before uh, industrial revolution and renaissance industrial uh, revolution. So, all this renaissance ar uh, architecture and art and design. Uh, till renaissance and before that is part of the history. But as uh, new media design and the digital uh, media design is a very nascent uh, and uh, the new field. So, uh, to maintain the continuum we should uh, discuss uh, some part of the uh, parallel art movements and uh, uh, design movements. But uh, we started with uh, from the uh, uh, post industrial revolution. So, we uh, started with uh, mod uh, discussing modernism. In modernism also we uh, uh, discuss the uh, smaller uh, different uh, ism within the mo modernism uh, from early modern to uh, late modern. In the previous lecture we started discussing from art nouveau and then art and craft and art deco and how gradually they are uh, incorporating the more machine made uh, stylization into the, uh, the bi uh, biomorphic uh, styles which was uh, before uh, um, industrial evolution that was Baroque and Rococo and how they have changed into the uh, most uh, more minimalist uh, style into uh, Bauhaus and the Stigel movement. There are also uh, some other uh, movements like uh, Impressionism and um, Cubism and other movements which we are not discussing because uh, they are more uh, they have more emphasis and uh, more related to the uh, to the art movements. So, in uh, uh, Impressionism I just uh, tell you in briefly that Impressionism is more uh, if you want to uh, uh, look at that uh, art movement, you should look at uh, Van Gogh's uh, works, uh, especially Starry Nights and other paintings and Edward Munch, uh, for example, Scream. So, you uh, look at that and you will understand what Impressionism is, but that did not uh, transform into uh, much into the uh, pub, uh, popular art and the posters and all this uh, designed um, domain. So, uh, in today we will discuss about the Futurism and that has a continuum with the um, uh, uh, minimalist, uh, they stigil and they um, uh, uh, Bauhaus style, but definitely uh, quite different. And also, uh, we will uh, uh, discuss a little bit about the Cubist style, and then we will uh, move towards the postmodern uh, movements and we will uh, mainly discuss the pop art style, and then we will uh, come to the digital uh, media domain, which is very new, and uh, that is why we have to uh, discuss all these things uh, to understand what is there in the uh, how it evolved. So, in digital media, we will discuss about different uh, emerging um, uh, visual styles like geomorphism and material design. If you um, come to the timeline of modern era, some of the modern era's um, art was already discussed and we discussed Art Nouveau, Art and Craft Movement, uh, Art Deco, Impressionism we were not discussing because it is more of an art um, movement. So, uh, you can look at Van Gogh's uh, art, uh, artwork. Uh, Edward uh, Munch's artwork, so um, Scream and um, Van Gogh's Starry Night will be um, uh, within this uh, era, uh, within this um, uh, art style. Uh, we discussed uh, the Stigel and Bauhaus and today we will uh, uh, discuss a little bit of uh, Futurism and Cubism and we will move towards the postmodern style and uh, mainly we will start discussing the digital media style and what kind of graphics in digital media style. Uh, we um, have. Uh, surrealism is another uh, very important uh, era, but uh, that is um, you can look at and you can uh, uh, read about uh, Salvador Dali and uh, Dada movements um, uh, uh, and other movements are there, but we are not discussing that because um, uh, they, they uh, have more emphasis on the art movement. So, uh, before, uh, before that we discussed uh, the, Bau, um, uh, the Bauhaus and the Estigel movement and we gradually started from Art Nouveau, uh, then we um, uh, come to the art, uh, art and Craft movement and then Art Deco. So, if you look at that, so from Art Nouveau the intricacy and biomorphic uh, curvilinear style of design gradually adopted the industrial sense of visual vocabulary and it uh, came towards more abstraction, more rectilinear form and more um, and less biomorphic and less curvilinear um, uh, aspects. 
between futurism and Russian constructivism. It uh, flourished in Italy and Russia. So it has a lot of other theories, but uh, we, we, we'll just uh, discuss about the, what kind of visual style it has. It talks about motion and which is, um, and it uh, depicts some uh, sense of time dimension into the uh, picture. So there are a lot of sense of movement. So here we can uh, look at the cycle uh, rings were moving. Even uh, in some of the uh, painting, you can see the if uh, there are some animals, they're, uh, they, they're, they're portrayed, there are uh, some uh, four or five legs which are of less uh, color intensity so that it uh, uh, gives a uh, sense of dynamism so that the per uh, person, the animal is walking and uh, uh, to give that sense of illusion of time dimension. That uh, uh, came more predominantly and that concept came into um, cubism uh, in the later phase uh, uh, in um, in higher uh, degree. So here we can see a lot of uh, mo uh, more uh, towards the uh, breaking uh, uh, the form into uh, rectilinear geometry. So geometry, uh, emphasis of geometry is more over here. Here we also have cubism which, um, which also talks about time, uh, time dimension and uh, um, capturing time into um, and true, uh, 2D uh, figure, 2D um, uh, painting. So we are not going into detail of that and again also it uh, has a, um, has a um, uh, tendency to break the geometry into cubes or uh, rectilinear um, uh, to enhance the rectilinearity. Here we have Villa's case uh, Last Meninus which is um, pre-Renaissance painting um, and we have a lot of curious screw effect on that. Uh, but that Villa's case Last Meninus is transformed into uh, and uh, Picasso reinterpreted that. So Picasso is a painter, is a famous painter you all know that uh, from Cubist, uh, his most of the work is from Cubist um, period. Though he also has some uh, Blue period and Rose period and other era uh, which does not uh, fall within the Cubism. But here we can uh, look at the transformation of a uh, lot of um, of human figures and environment into a lot of geometric uh, uh, cube, um, uh, of geometric cubes so and also so the surfaces and the figures and uh, has a lot of um, um, a, a depiction of time dimension. Here we can see the uh, shapes are distorted and broken into uh, pieces. So uh, we perceive, suppose we perceive a form in uh, from all the angles so it depicts all the uh, surfaces together in a in a two dimensional geometry if uh, you, you want to uh, if you want to read further you can uh, read about cu uh, cubism and also uh, in architecture the equivalent uh, deconstructive style which is there but which is which was a postmodern style which was translated later in postmodern era and came from has some connection with the cubist uh, movement right now we come to the postmodern uh, art movement so after all this uh, uh, simplistic geometric transformation which happened in modern and high modern and late modern area, uh, era and uh, we come to the postmodern uh, style where again um, aesthetics and ornamentation started gaining its value and started ga gaining its uh, emphasis. So it's after the all the world war and everything was there so uh, uh, the economic uh, boom uh, again started. So um, a lot of emphasis was given in ornamentation and beautification. So it started uh, with Europe and America and based on popular culture. So it uh, in uh, postmodern one uh, one of the style in uh, art and uh, graphic design we have pop movement which based on uh, uh, the popular culture of people. So it's more people centric and involving uh, people and on, um, what's their sense of um, liking that. Uh, that is more translated into the um, design. So, uh, what is the uh, perspective of people and how they perceive aesthetics and how um, uh, what is going on in the po popular culture is uh, translated in the art form and design as well. So, there was a European center and uh, American center of uh, pop art. So, they uh, slightly differ. And uh, so, mostly it was uh, in the advertisement, typography, branding, poster design, cinematography and print media and all these um, uh, domains where there is a connection with the, uh, with the people is, um, um, uh, is targeted more. So here we have uh, Roy Lichtenstein's um, style of pop art. So this style uh, what uh, is, is evolved from pop art 
is uh, translated and um, has a genre of comic book and uh, the graphic novels of uh, that era was uh, de uh, depicted by these kind of style and because they, they are easy to print they has um, uh, uh, less colors and uh, is, um, and uh, easily uh, can be pr uh, produced um, uh, easily and also there is a european center this is this is more of an Ar american pop uh, st uh, pop movement and this is more of an european center but this uh, kind of style european style is also uh, there present in the american um, uh, was also incorporated in america and uh, this kind of style is also in incorporated in, in uh, europe so there is a uh, there is no uh, strong uh, clear cut line between these two um, styles so here we have more of a gradient uh, shape in the um, gradient colors and um, uh, use of uh, different kind of fonts is there in the uh, in this uh, style so also howard miller have designed some of the um, uh, some of the posters so mostly we can see these are the comics books uh, comic book style and the posters um, um, the promotional uh, posters uh, were designed in pop style and here in the typography used is also has some kind of ornamentation so here this uh, type uh, typefaces are not uh, simplistic and lo not uh, purely uh, geometric not um, uh, there are a lot of uh, aesthetic influence in this so here also we have gradient shapes but this is um, uh, howard miller is from america and also we have uh, some kind of uh, um, style which is followed in the uh, graphic novels and comic books of uh, that um, era and again we were uh, discussing uh, initially the andy warhol's work andy warhol's work of 100 uh, soup cans of uh, uh, he, he was painting the campbell's uh, soup cans which uh, talks about the day to day uh, life and the same repetition of uh, the same life of each and every day's uh, process so that uh, talks about people's uh, life and people's uh, liking and all these things were translated into the de design and art so here we can see the same repetitive um, form of uh, soup cans but here the only difference is the flavor of the soup can changes so that is uh, that depicts our life so each and every day we consume one can of soup and the uh, mostly the variation will be uh, in terms of uh, the taste uh, here we have a, fam a famous uh, serigraphy um, which is uh, done from uh, serigraphic traditional uh, print media style but andy warhol uh, have used this extensively and uh, this is a genre of pop style and the color palette evolved from that so marilyn monroe's uh, several photographs and the colors has been changed with fa flat different screen printing um, style so one same uh, single screen print uh, printing um, base and the different colors uh, were applied on top of this so this kind of style has been also translated into uh, different um, and many other uh, ar artists have followed this um, uh, 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 the style of Andy Warhol's um, screen printing now we come to the digital media so uh, digital media is much uh, new and uh, it's a 2000th century it uh, started and uh, if we look at the digital uh, medias uh, the uh, way it has uh, changed in terms of visual uh, style so uh, we initially had uh, because of the um, technology constraint there uh, were a larger pixel size and the, uh, so the definition was less so we have the designers had to do with um, ha had to um, express the uh, imageries with uh, lar in, in, uh, within larger pixels so there was less possibilities of gradient uh, using gradient shades uh, shades so each and every pixel can have just one color so that was the constraint so here we can have initially the we can look at the uh, windows uh, logo initially it was pixelated and has um, um, uh, uh, has um, combines the style of pixel into uh, their logo and then uh, they have uh, we also have some uh, digital typefaces which uh, can go with the uh, display system of the low resolution uh, initial um, digital display system and uh, one of the example we uh, we are all uh, attached with this um, um, ga uh, some games like super mario and prince um, uh, Prince of Persia of the uh, previous uh, versions. Uh, so here we have uh, the pixelated uh, imageries, and each and every pixel has one color, so and it uh, has a particular uh, 
uh, visual um, appeal. And um, though it was uh, the, the te technology constraint, but this has translated into today's um, some of the uh, artworks and in game and animation design. So the pixels was um, a, uh, used as an aesthetic uh, feature, as a style uh, of um, uh, of the visual design. So one of the uh, very um, popular game uh, is Minecraft, where you can, if you watch the uh, game Minecraft, it uh, deals with the pixels, and each and every pixel is a uh, is consumed uh, is conceived as a voxel or the three D uh, volume of a pixel. So each and every voxel uh, has only one color, and here in the Mi Minecraft, if you uh, see, so it's all pixelated and it's. Um, that kind of visual style is the uh, is the aesthetic um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, that kind of aesthetic appeal they want to create even if you uh, look at the animation animated uh, film uh, Ricky Ralph Ricky Ralph is uh, um, uh, taken from the uh, Ricky Ralph's um, old uh, video game here a lot of uh, uh, 3d images is uh, uh, transform is is uh, taken is uh, generated from the 2d pixelated graphics of the older um, older the initial eras of uh, digital uh, visual uh, design style. So, the, uh, in, if you watch the movie and if you uh, look at some of the uh, ways how it has been, um, uh, the 3D uh, animation has been designed. So, if you look at uh, carefully here in the trees, so these are all has that pixelated uh, visual style, and even the arch is uh, designed in uh, terms of pixels. So, they uh, enhance the aesthetic uh, value of the pixels in a, in a, as a as a and that is the visual style of the Rekit Ralph. Even the, the logo uh, here appears uh, very tiny. If you um, search the, um, uh, the poster of Rekit Ralph, the way it is written, the typefaces used over here has a lot of pixelated geometry, and that is the visual style of the um, uh, movie. Then uh, we uh, have proceeded uh, much farther, and the high resolution, uh, uh, the possibilities of high re resolution. Um, Imageries was uh, there. So uh, after that, uh, there was uh, in uh, Apple's um, design studio, uh, skeuomorphism was a visual style which uh, flourished uh, uh, with Apple's um, uh, launch of uh, uh, initial iPhones and iPads and um, iMacs. So skeuomorphism uh, exploits the high res uh, the uh, way high res uh, resolution, uh, the possibilities of depicting. Um, Real um, objects in high res uh, resolution so, uh, to mimic the trans uh, the uh, the visual texture of uh, original uh, material. Uh, so that was not possible in the pixelated um, initial eras of um, um, uh, low resolution uh, display system. But the high resolution display system have given that kind of opportunity. So uh, skeuomorphism uh, exploits that uh, facility. And uh, the Greek skeu, uh, uh, the word skeu etymologically it means uh, container, and the morph means uh, shape. So he talks about uh, the material it wants to replay, uh, uh, represent in terms of uh, visual texture. We cannot have a tactile texture which is which, which uh, cannot be felt, but visually it appears that kind of material. It can mimic uh, the color and um, uh, uh, of, of a wood, of, a, of a, uh, a paper and other things. So we have some examples for uh, initial iPhone and uh, iPads, iBooks uh, store was exactly looks like a shelf. So it uh, gives the opportunity to depict uh, the, uh, because of the high resolution um, emergence of high resolution uh, display system, the uh, wooden texture is depicted uh, clearly. And skeuomorphism has a lot of uh, bevealed and um, curved edges. So buttons look like, uh, uh, looks like they are a crystal and they have a, a shiny edges. So here, e e uh, even the buttons um, has a kind of a tactile texture. So it, it is glossy and one side it uh, there is a light and shadow difference and it looks like a crystal and it also has a drop shadow. So there is a shadow um, uh, under the buttons. So that buttons look, uh, they have a volume. And uh, even uh, in the some of the iPhone App Store icon logo, they also st started using the skeuomorphic style. So, but skeuomorphic style uh, gradually again faded because um, of the po um, uh, of the initial uh, style of um, postmodern. We had a lot of um, aesthetic. Um, 
uh, emphasis on the aesthetics and ornamentation, but gradually we are moving towards a minimalist and simplistic abstract geometry and abstract uh, depiction. So, here this is the old iPhone um, uh, screen and this is the newer iPhone uh, screen. Here we can clearly see the skeuomorphic uh, style, the qualities of skeuomorphism are again reducing. So, here the uh, shadows uh, on top is again reduced in a gradient uh, shade and much more geometric and mass, uh, much more abstract depiction. Here the drop shadows are uh, uh, less, even the 3D uh, effect of each and every buttons are highly minimized in the newer versions of iPhones. Even if you see the iPhone's app, iPhone's uh, buttons, they do not have much drop shadow and even the lines are just a color line. So, it is not talking about texture and drop, uh, drop shadow anymore. So, skeuomorphism is not, uh, it was a visual style, but uh, if you talk about the contemporary style iOS and as well as the Android platform, uh, it was not um, uh, uh, as it was in the previous era. Now, we have uh, we can look at some of the skeuomorphisms uh, uh, Apple's guidelines. So, we have the iOS platforms, uh, we can go to this uh, website and I, um, Apple have clearly given the guidelines of uh, how to design uh, for uh, Apple's uh, iOS platform. So, um, so, you can go and check that. Um, by yourself and each and every pixels and how the icons has, has to be designed and how um, and uh, everything has been detailed in the uh, in their website. And uh, now we talk about the digital media, the uh, 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 the new uh, uh, paradigm of digital media, the material design uh, evolved by Gru uh, Google. So Google's uh, material design is drastically different from a uh, skeuomorphic style of iOS platform. So material design does not talk about the Weevil curvilinear age, it talks about uh, sharp, clear-cut rectangular geometry. It's more minimalist than uh, skeuomorphism. So it's uh, no, it doesn't uh, um, uh, does not have the uh, tac uh, visual texture of the material. It's just as a simplistic rectangular tiles. So they in uh, Google's material design, materials work as a uh, as a metaphor. So uh, they they don't uh, use the tactile uh, the visual texture of the um, of the uh, um, like uh, skeuomorphism. So material is uh, uh, they um, take a form, uh, they, they are uh, superimposed and they uh, they are uh, they, they can be on top of other and they uh, cast a shadow but they are more um, uh, they, they are more depicted uh, uh, in terms of color so the pure geometry bold and flat color is their uh, features so here we can see an example of uh, how google transform their logo uh, initial logo from the new logo so initial logo has a lot of uh, uh, serif ends and uh, it's more uh, curvilinear and has a uh, intricate um, uh, in, in, intricacy into it and it is not um, uh, as geometric as the new uh, uh, logo. So, here we uh, can look at that uh, the O has a tilt and it is not perfect circle. The new logo if you look at here in the right hand side, it is pure geometric and it is absolutely sans serif and it is talk about the material geometric uh, designs, minimalist more geometric approach and uh, talks about the flat color. So, here there, is, uh, there are gradients within the material, within the color, but here the, uh, the shapes are flat and uh, um, uh, has bold uh, pure geometric um, uh, shapes. But uh, here its uh, material design is um, conceptually um, uh, presented. So, uh, in uh, terms of Google's material design concept, material is as a metaphor. So, material uh, can be on top, each and every buttons are, are on top of each other. So, they cast a, sa uh, a shadow. So, if we look at the material designs, uh, if you can go and check material design, uh, the website again, uh, they have a clear design guidelines in material design website. So, each and every um, uh, shape is a shape on top of other. So, they appear like a different cardboard shapes on top of each other and they cast a shadow on the uh, shape which is uh, uh, behind them. So, there is a, a concept of figure uh, foreground and background in the material design and material can change their form. So, uh, the circle can come here and uh, take the form of a rectangle. But um, again, it will be on top of um, uh, each other and again, again some material can merge together and uh, take a uh, bigger shape. So, you can again go to the uh, material design guide for the Google and um, 
uh, in, in this uh, following website. So, material design and skeuomorphism if you look at, so skeuomorphism is more about the texture heavy and talking about the uh, bevelled um, uh, edges and the uh, uh, cur curved buttons and drop shadows and the uh, light and shadow effect. But here in material design there are shadow, there is just materials cast a shadow on which uh, uh, in, uh, on the background and but it is pure geometric and there is no texture, there is just uh, flat different flat colors are there. And they also do focus on different kind of UI tra uh, transitions. So, you can look at uh, the guidelines of Apple's skeuomorphism and Google's material design. And then in the next uh, lecture, we will discuss uh, about the technology advancement that is very important to understand what are the new uh, paradigms within the digital media paradigm, uh, what kind of new technology advancement is uh, required, so uh, is happening. So, we need to uh, um, adjust your uh, visual skills along that domain, that kind of platform because uh, there are, uh, we are not just confined within the uh, uh, display um, uh, mode of um, tablet, uh, laptop and uh, mobile phone. Right now, we are, um, uh, look, if we look at the future, then we are also progressing towards augmented reality and uh, virtual media, uh, virtual uh, reality. So, that those parts uh, will be discussed so that you can incorporate your all visual skills what you have learned uh, into that paradigm of design. Thank you.